Good morning, folks. Found the following at sciencemag.org. Electromagnetic forces are responsible for a structural formation on a scale that most humans cannot begin to fathom. 150 kiloparsec arms of high-density clusters coalescing across 650 kiloparsecs. Now they'll just need to find the intergalactic connectivity. I'm going to be railing on Iris more and more the longer we go without the images we were promised. First few days it was up, we got an amazing shot, but since then we've got nothing. And I want to know why. Kicking to weather, Super Typhoon Usagi is having impact just east of Hong Kong. NASA's TRMM is monitoring the potential flooding effects of this storm and its little brother just a few days behind him over there on the right in these images. New Zealand flash flood zone took a bit of an insult to injury with a tornado. The hope is that this low moves on because tonight's convergence north of it is looking diabolical already. Want to state my continued praise, respect, and recommendation that you use WOW's expert pressure charts, best in the world. Check the high pressure red here boxing out Umberto's remnants from Europe as best as possible. That convergence crossing the eastern states was a doozy, huh? No love loss with that one leaving. The next low in the Pacific is dumping quite a bit on the coastline. Cosmic rays on a slight uptick. I've actually chosen to show this to preemptively apologize to you, Dell, for my criticisms coming later today and fly on the wall, but their genesis is my best and most honest logic. Solar wind speed and density within normal range. Geomagnetic instability is nil. That massive filament indeed is now at least half gone. Ejecta was clocked as high as 1400 kilometers per second leaving the sun. Luckily most of it is headed behind Earth's orbital path and to the north. NASA's endless spiral shows almost no chance for impact. Solar flaring is still on the floor. The sunspot situation has grown vastly interesting over the last two days, even without flaring. Big guy down south, still trying to fly solo. Meanwhile, the central grouping is spreading very quickly and complexing in the middle. We appear to have a magnetic hodgepodge at the incoming group. You'll remember yesterday the umbral field popped open? Well, it popped closed right afterwards. Coronal hole power is still pretty weak in general except for the South Pole. There are no major coronal holes facing Earth today. One exiting, more turning in. Had a couple five-pointers yesterday following the 6.1 in Indonesia. But in all honesty, the quake of the day, by far, was in Wyoming. Flanked by Canadian coastal four-pointers, 100 miles south-southeast of Yellowstone took the largest continental U.S. rumble in months. The area is on moderate alert. Had a second filament rip off just moments ago. I'll leave you with that and other shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.